We had the aftermath of aggression. Are we having another shutdown in paradise? A WTF rose ceremony. Oh, night. And Dylan and Hannah finally get a date. I am all in for you. This is your Bachelor in Paradise episode five recap. Grab your glasses. It's time for roses and rosé. Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren Zima. Oh, you guys. Something special's happened. We are in the presence of something beautiful. And no, I don't mean Dylan's undying love for Hannah. I'm talking about cake bread. Oh, our friends at Cake Bread sent me some wine. You guys, I once drank a cake bread Chardonnay on Roses and Rose, and they saw it and sent over a little more vino, including a Sauvignon Blanc, which I have not tried. This is something I've never done on Roses and Rose before. I've never drank a Sauvignon Blanc on this show before. This is out of my realm. This is new for me, but you know what? going down in paradise, so let's try something new. Throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. You know what I'm saying? And luckily, it's coming from a trusted brand, Cake Bread. Their wine's amazing. We thank them again, and here we go. That was a heavy pour. No, stop, stop. They're like actually fighting. So we're back with the fight. Yes, we were left last week on a to be continued and things continued between Jordan and Christian. Did you guys have to rewind this fight scene? <laughs> I was rewinding and returning and rewinding and returning because I was trying to figure out exactly what happened. Who was really the culprit? Who really got things going? I still can't tell. It's hard to know who the aggressor is when a pinata's involved. It was a really brief back and forth and Jordan picked Christian up and throw him. If I'm being honest, didn't know Jordan had it in him. I, I didn't know. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not supporting it. But he physically supported Christian and he threw him. I just, I didn't know Jordan was that. What do the guys say, yoked? Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, who do you guys think was responsible for the fight, if anyone? Oh, everybody seemed confused. Drink every time someone said, what's happening? Don't touch the is a good friend What's happening? What's happening? Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. You know, Jordan. Yeah, you got put to the ground, bitch. Now Jordan's chill. He walks away. Christian's not. Stop right now. Stop right there. He runs at him. And Christian's fast. Blake and Wills are like, that was too much from Jordan. That was too much. He went over the top, bro. Jordan took things over the top, you think? Jordan went over the top. Shocking. I haven't seen a physical fight like that at Paradise. That was aggressive. And there's that word, you know, aggression. The word that Nicole had been saying she wanted more of from Clay last week. Well, now Nicole's like, maybe I shouldn't have been so into that. It's like, yeah. We just need a different word. I think assertive. Assertive works. First of all, are you okay? I am absolutely fine, yeah, I, I apologize. So, you know, this show has dealt with scandal in the past and they're gonna move on from this fast. Chris Harrison and other producers sit down Jordan, they sit down Christian, they tell them both, we have a zero tolerance policy, and they send them home. Do you need anything? <laughs> And Jordan and Christian, to their credit, both took it well, took it in stride. Uh, what do you guys think? Fair? I'm so glad, like, you're still here after I got on these crazy dates, leaving you at the house for days on end. And not shockingly, after all this, Nicole's like, Clay? Clay? C -c Clay? Oh, Clay! Every guy that's come in here is basically fond over Hannah, and she seems like super innocent, but she's not innocent in any of this. Back to everybody else, and everyone keeps saying Hannah isn't innocent. What is her crime? I need someone to tell me. What is her crime? You know, my mom always told me I'd take my vitamins, and right now, I'm taking a multivitamin. Tonight, I need to figure out whether I need to take a little bit more of vitamin B or vitamin D. Now, I'm trying Sauvignon Blanc, but I'm not gonna hide that from Rosé. And I'm gonna let Chardonnay know about it, too. Hannah's doing a, a wine flight of sorts, you know? Dylan Blake. But you know, while Hannah is tasting, Dylan is digging in. He says that Hannah is the most beautiful girl he's ever seen. Right over there, literally the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my entire life. 
I literally just stare at her all day. Dylan is all in, you know? Dill all in. Drink every time someone, or Dylan himself, says he's smitten. You're very smitten. Yeah, very smitten. Smitten Dylan. Very smitten. Mm -hmm. And God, while Hannah's trying the guys, the guys are trying for Hannah. Drink for every romantic gesture made for Hannah. And you like picnics. Oh, oh what do we got here? Oh. If we're being honest, the mariachi band was just so Blake could do that swing dancing thing again. <laughs> that was it! That was pretty really good. I, I want to say at least there's music this time, but I didn't want to say that. Okay! You know, did anybody get Hannah a glass of wine? That's what I would have done. Chris, um... Anyeka? Can I say something really yeah. quick? Yeah. And then, oh my God, you guys. A tearful self-exit. Our girl Anyeka says this isn't working for her, and she out. I can't give out a rose to anyone tonight. <laughs> and I'm really sorry. Should she have left? I don't get why you leave if you have the power at the rose ceremony. You don't know who might show up on the beach. Might be somebody good for you. And drink every time Wills is the voice of the people this episode. He says, what a f night. What a f night. <laughs> John Paul Jones. By the way, Taisha gives her rose to John Paul Jones, and I just love how much he is John Paul Jones in for Taisha. Taisha is everything I look for in a wife. Taisha is like the hottest girl I have ever talked to. Drink for every big moment at the rose ceremony. Hannah gave her rose to Dylan. Bum -ba -da -da. She did not choose Blake. I didn't think she would. Did you? That would have been wild. What was great is that, you know, Dylan's been struggling so much, but he got a little moment. He got the rose, and he went and stood right next to Blake, wearing that rose. And Blake had that face. <laughs> Blake. Christina gave him a rose. He's not going anywhere. Uh, Will's again, the voice of the people, shaking his head like, what, what, why, what, no, what? I know you have not had an ideal time here in paradise, but I also know you're a good person. And just like anyone out here in paradise right now deserves to find love. Christina says she thinks Blake's a good person, that he deserves another chance. I have to say, you know, Dean's here on this beach. And remember, it was just a year ago, on this exact same show, that Dean was the mayor of Ville, And his mustache represents literal and figurative growth. So, I think we have to admit, there's hope for Blake. But did Blake deserve a second, I mean, I'm sorry, 70 second chance? Let me know in the comments below. Cam is gone. Kevin is gone, Wills is gone. This, none of this is surprising. No, right? I mean, sure, that tracks. Okay. If you think I'm not keeping this for the rest of my life, you're crazy. Oh my God, Dylan just said he's keeping the rose Hannah gave him for the rest of his life. Okay, I defended Dylan on Twitter because some people are saying Dylan is too obsessive and too clingy. And I think sometimes it's hard for guys, like we want them to be totally focused on us, but then we get upset when they are. Welcome to your personal hell. <laughs> but then, wait a minute. Sometimes Christina's a secret savage. She just told Blake, welcome to your personal hell. Welcome to your personal hell. <laughs> Because you're gonna be here to watch this. Did she give him the rose just so that he had to watch Hannah and Dylan get it on? <sighs> Christina Shulman. Ah! And then Blake is just laying and he's looking blankly. Blake is blank, but he does have a book. And this was interesting to me. I actually recently tweeted that uh, they don't have books and TV and stuff in paradise. I guess they have books. I was wrong. Drink for me being wrong. We have a new arrival. Caitlin is here. Caitlin is here. I don't really remember who Caitlin is. Caitlin is the new Christian because we don't know who Caitlin is. Um, I think she was on Colton's season and that she had like one really awkward self-involved conversation with him and then he sent her home. Is that right? I 
terrified of someone walking on this beach and stealing game away. And I know the possibilities that are extremely high. I'm aware of who he is and his reputation and his past. Okay, Dean, do you want to chat? Whoa! By the way, cheers to Kaylin for being smart about Dean. She's like, I'm taking things slow because I know Dean's M.O. Mm-hmm. Um, also, drink every time Dylan is holding on to Hannah. Literally. Yeah, that's all. Blake, how do you feel about taking off for the day? Sounds great. Okay. Not shockingly, Caitlin takes Blake on the date. I guess we're, you know, still getting into Blake. And then Dylan kind of makes this joke, like, hope they didn't hook up at Stagecoach. I'm sure Blake was probably DMing Caitlin before the show. Hopefully she didn't go to Stagecoach. And then, oh my God, we learned that they did hang out at Stagecoach. We met at Stagecoach. Nothing happened. Blake's like, I'm trying to keep an open mind. I'm trying to keep an open mind. You know, saying he's physically, emotionally exhausted. Okay, well, Blake, yeah, because you've been, you've been running on the treadmill of thoughts and feelings, haven't you? So far, Paradise has been pretty brutal for me, honestly, like from top to bottom. This is where you step off the treadmill and you meditate and you focus on yourself. Oh, wait, what, what? You actually want to take a yoga class? Oh, a sexy yoga class with another woman? You want to go ahead and keep doing this dating thing? Seems right. Yeah. Good idea. Interestingly, Blake says he hates the word settle down. I hate the word, but settle down. Really? Why? Thought you were here to find love, Blake. That's what you told us. Also, not a word. It's a term. Maybe actually having a little bit of fun down here, that would be very, very nice. Yeah, and then he says he just wants to finally have a little fun down in paradise. What do you want, Blake? And they're making out. God, this show's a comedy. Uh, Blake's trying to justify his behavior, and he's like, I'm a good guy. Didn't, like, kill anybody, and I didn't cheat or any of that. <laughs> when your defense is not being a murderer, that's rough. Yeah. It's hard to see Hannah and Dylan. There's some talk about Blake being sad over Hannah and Dylan, but I wrote down, honestly, I zoned out during that. It sucks that they're like dating right in front of me. Like, that's not an easy thing, you know, right. but like. Tonight's my first real date with Hannah, and I'm excited. And then Hannah and Dylan finally go on a date. And oh my gosh, we got the moment we've been waiting for. Hannah makes her decision. I am all in for you. And she tells him, I am all in, Dylan. Drink for that, but then really drink for this. I did not come to spend the summer with you. Dylan says what is possibly the best line in Bachelor in Paradise history. He tells her, I didn't just come here for the summer with you. I came for us to spend everything after it together. I came here for all the seasons of life with you. He didn't actually say the seasons thing. I just added that in, but I think it makes it even better. Scripting, that's been an issue on this season of Paradise, hasn't it? People allegedly scripting their storylines. What do you guys think? Is it getting too schemey? Are people planning too much before they head into the show? Let me know in the comments below. We have some exclusive reporting on all of the crap that went down between Demi and Tanner. Head over to etonline.com for that shameless plug. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> JP Tasha are hanging out, and I don't even know what happened in their conversation, but it was great. Tasha Paul Jones. Uh, and then, you know, Demi is confused. I just feel guilty that there's a woman that I'm still thinking about. And she talks about being confused. She is having feelings for Derek, but she is still thinking about this woman she was dating before she left for the show. Now, there has been talk about whether Demi headed into paradise with a plan to just be with this woman all along. Tanner Tolbert went on Twitter and spoke to ET, saying that he'd heard this from multiple people in Bachelor Nation, saying that 
he wants to maintain the integrity of Paradise where he met and fell in love with Jade and that Demi was scheming and scripted. Demi has denied these allegations. Tanner compared her to Jed, which I didn't think was fair because no one's coming forward as they did with Jed saying that Demi like lied about everything. Nobody's saying that. The relationship that I had had back home was a lot more serious and still means a lot to me. But Demi, interestingly though, Demi does tell Hannah that things with Christian are actually a lot more serious. Then Demi goes and talks to Derek and tells him that she downplayed her feelings for Christian. Kind of downplayed it a little bit. I really, really think about her a lot and I have so many feelings for her. Okay. And then Derek isn't giving up. Like, I'm not getting up now. He still wants to pursue Demi. I feel like he should give up, don't you think? Derek and Dylan, you know, they will just not give up on these beautiful blondes. <laughs> Worked out for Dylan. I don't know about Derek. Demi uh, would like to see Chris Harrison. And we end things with Demi wanting to talk to Chris Harrison. What's gonna happen? We've seen from the trailers that Demi's gal shows up in paradise. We know that, so I'm guessing we're gonna get that. Love you guys so much. Thank you again, Cake Bread. Mm. That's all I have to say. We will be back with another episode based on Tuesday night's episode of Bachelor in Paradise. So follow along. I'm on Instagram, cameo, but I'm not at Stagecoach. Bye. This is your Bachelor in Paradise episode. What episode is it? Five? That's the way to somebody's heart, you know what I'm saying? Cake bread. We're in a relationship now. Oh. Wine ASMR. So soothed. Okay, I gotta stop it.